up guys it's Marcy from we are score and today I figured I would bring you a special something unfortunately it's not cake I'm bringing you a makeup tutorial what better way to start the channel off by showing you kind of who I am I think this makeup tutorial will definitely give a little insight so without further ado Let's get started. Before I even start, I'm going to remove my glasses because I don't want anything to get in the way. Next, we're going to be priming our faces because we want to hold all of our makeup on so that we don't sweat it off. Next comes our foundation, which I will be applying with a beauty blender. Now it's time to do your brows. The high testosterone levels in men make it so that their hair, including their eyebrow hair, come in thicker and fuller than women's. So using my brow pencil, I'm just going to fill and shape my brows normally. This will allow me to fill my brows in more heavily later on. Now because brow maintenance in the NHL is minimal to none, you are going to be taking a small, flat eyeliner brush and feathering some of your brow filler to various places on your brow so that it gives the appearance that your brows are more unkempt and hairier. Taking an eyeshadow primer, which happens to be Urban Decay's Enigma Primer Potion, I'm going to be applying a small amount of product to the center of my lids and blotting out with my finger just to hold the small amount of eyeshadow that we will be using. Using my Maybelline Nudes Palette, I'm going to be applying a medium brown color to the crease of my eye with a fluffy brush and that's just to contour our eye and make it seem a little deeper and a little more intense than it normally would be. Congrats! You've made it to special effects! We're going to need a makeup wedge, a stippling sponge, an eyeshadow brush that we really don't care about anymore, and two makeup palettes that you can purchase at any costume or party store. Now there are so many helpful bruising technique videos on YouTube, but I find the most helpful is Glam and Gore's bruising tutorial. I'll pop a link in the description below, and I'm just going to take my ripped makeup sponge and apply it right on my cheekbone, about an inch under my eye, using the red and brown cream paint. Alright, I decided that I didn't like the dark purple, so I'm going to be using this lighter purple from an oil cream palette and just applying that to my bruise so that it looks more aged yet still relatively fresh. If you find that your bruise isn't blending as easily as you want it to, you can take a powder in your foundation color or your foundation itself and just pat it along the edges of the bruise to make it look more natural. I decided that I wanted even more purple, so I'm going in with my Purple Matte Shadow out of NYX's Smoky Eye Palette and just applying that to the bottom of my bruise resting right against my cheekbone. I wanted to see what black eyeshadow would do to this look, so I just applied it on my eyelid, blended it out with my finger, and I'm not sure how I like it, but let's make it without a little experimentation. To finish all this, I'm going to be taking my NYX Matte Setting Spray and just spritzing that all over my face so that even when I get gross and oily and sweaty, my makeup is not going anywhere. Y'all thought I was done, but I'm just getting started. So I'm going to take my lip brush from MAC and my red cream paint. I'm just going to be applying a dark base for where I want my fake blood to go. Now, because nosebleeds are way common in the NHL, I decided to go with that. Now taking whatever fake blood you have, I'm using Vampire Blood from Spirit of Halloween. You're just going to get some of that product on your finger, and I'm having a bit of a struggle right now, and picking my nose. Just kidding. I'm applying some of it on the inside of my nostrils so that it drips and it looks more natural. And just as a little extra, I'm going to be adding a lip wound. So with my almost dried up felt tip eyeliner pen, I'm going to be drawing a line of where I want my lip wound to go. We're going to repeat this like we did with the nose, using our red and brown cream paints to just kind of give a dark base for the fake blood so that it looks more realistic. Now 
Now I want my lip cut to look like it's a reopened wound, so taking my purple matte shadow, I'm just going to apply it around the cut and blend it out. Now taking my plastic spatula that I got in a makeup kit at Spirit of Halloween, I'm going to be applying a little bit of fake blood and running it along where I made my cut. I'm applying more fake blood at the end just so that it drips down and looks a little more fresh. And there you have it. You look like you just got a 5 minute major for beating the crap out of someone. Congratulations on channeling your inner Zach Ronaldo and being the fakest real hockey player ever. It's in my mouth. Let's see. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Uh, as it gets closer to Halloween, I will probably be putting out a prosthetic tutorial on how to do the hockey puck to the eye. But that will happen when I have enough money to buy myself a new port of liquid latex. So we'll see when that comes out. Anyway, if you enjoyed watching this, then give this video a nice huge thumbs up and or comment saying how much you liked it. Even if you didn't, just lie to our faces. If you really enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button to see more from myself and Ariel. We'll be updating as much as we can. So until then, keep calm and score on.